Hello everybody, this is your tropical update for November 2nd. We're currently watching Hurricane Lisa about to make landfall in Belize as well as Hurricane Martin located over the central Atlantic. Here is the zoomed out version of the Atlantic today. As you can see, the two main areas of convection across the whole basin are in fact Lisa nearing Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula as well as Martin located over the central Atlantic going to go north of the Azores. As we can see here, here are the two hurricanes. The only one affecting land is going to be Lisa, where we do have moderate impacts due to those low-end hurricane force winds, as well as storm surge from four to seven feet. We're also going to be watching the shipping lanes as a result of Martin, where significant waves will impact shipping across the northern Atlantic Ocean. As we zoom in on Hurricane Lisa, you can see that eye begin to form in satellite imagery, as well as a uh, well, uh, it's becoming increasingly well defined as it begins to make landfall here. It's intensifying right up into the point of landfall. Winds currently at 80 miles per hour, and it's going to uh, be a hurricane as it makes landfall here within the next few hours. After that, though, it's going to weaken over uh, the higher terrain of the Yucatan and uh, Guatemala. And as it does so, uh, will become a tropical depression by probably this time tomorrow. It will continue to be a tropical depression into the weekend, according to the Hurricane Center. Uh, but by the time it moves later in time, say Sunday or Monday, it will become non-tropical. There is currently no expectation that it will regain tropical storm strength once over the Gulf of Mexico, but we'll continue to monitor that. The main killer with these storms is rain. So that storm surge of four to seven feet, as well as flooding, uh, up to 10 inches in areas in Belize are the main concern. That storm surge, of course, on the north side of the storm, heading right into that uh, gulf there in southeastern, um, the, the southeastern Yucatan Peninsula, as well as northern Belize, are going to be the hardest hit by this storm surge. As I mentioned, it's going to make its way out into the southern Gulf of Mexico, uh, where it's not really expected to become anything too special. As we can see here, uh, also by the European model, uh, there's only a 30 to 40 percent chance that it's a, still a tropical storm by Monday. And then after Monday or Tuesday, it won't be a tropical cyclone anymore. So we'll kind of see what happens with that. But again, not a huge concern later on. But for now, obviously, the imminent impacts to Belize and the southeastern Yucatan Peninsula, as well as northern Guatemala, need to be watching this. Here's Hurricane Martin. As you can see, that well-defined eye, a uh, large eye, as is kind of typical of these higher latitude hurricanes. Uh, it's expected to be a hurricane through around tomorrow morning. After that time, it's going to become non-tropical. I mean, it's moving so quickly. It's uh, due to become frontal in nature at some points. Wind at 75 miles, as I mentioned, a shipping problem. A rare occurrence. The, both of these storms are hurricanes. The last time we had two simultaneous hurricanes was in 2001 with Hurricanes Michelle and Noel. Um, yeah, say that five times fast. Anyways, before that, the only other occurrence known to us meteorologists is uh, in the 1932, the Cuba hurricane, as well as Storm 15. So that's it. This is only the third time we've had two hurricanes in November. Uh, in recent memory, in the, since 1966, that is, it's happened four times. It happened again with Michelle and Noel, as well as with Ada and Theta, and then again with Theta and Iota in 2020, and then, of course, Lisa and Martin this year. It's also the only other time 1942 is the only time that a hurricane has made landfall in Belize in the month of November. Uh, this, of course, being the second time ever we've had a hurricane landfall in Belize in the month of November. So again, a lot going on, and that's not all. In fact, there's a 20% chance of formation of the next storm we've been talking about the past several days. Uh, formation in the southeastern Atlantic near the Bahamas, perhaps making it southwestern Atlantic, rather, making its way towards the Bahamas and perhaps into Florida later on, as you can see from the European model. A bit of consensus on that and a lot more on the GFS, where Florida could definitely be in play for some tropical storm impacts in about a week from now. So if you're in Florida, especially on the Atlantic coast, also the Bahamas really want to watch out for this potential development here within the next week. 
So again, that's all we have for today. Lisa and Martin, the two hurricanes, a rare occurrence here in the month of November, as well as another area to watch for potential development later on. The hurricane season isn't over. It's November, though. The year almost is. That's all for now. Chris 6 and over there, Catholic Media.